and winch it in. And hopefully I will get these two into the zone. Come on. That's a big problem. Welcome back, friends. It is logging day. So, the plan is we're going to try logging right into the truck or try, you know, using the harvest to get them right into the truck. Um, I'm not super confident that's going to work out for me because I've never really had luck with that. But I did have it mentioned on a video by a viewer that is the really most efficient way to do it. So, I gonna try it like I said that usually doesn't work too well for me but hopefully it should work I am gonna leave these stumps a little bit on the tall side just to make them easier to grind down afterwards and you know that little bit of wood really isn't gonna be a big deal for me uh, I gotta turn on the help window here so that we can get our length uh, I'm gonna take a guess on the length of that trailer because I'm not a hundred percent sure So this first one's also gonna be a little bit of a test Let's See if I drive forward some that should get us pretty well lined up with the trailer here. Fingers crossed. Ooh, it's already going really, really bad. Yep. Uh, let's pull that one on a little bit first, I guess. Uh, unfold truck. I should be able to just use this guy instead of having to go grab the excavator. Maybe. Yeah, there we go. Well, looks like I got that stuck even worse now. Let's do like so. Oh, come on. Alright, I am royally botching this up so far, aren't I? So, I mean, that distance should work, or length. I know it's sticking out the back there, but all we're doing is taking it right over to the lumber mill next to us, so that should be completely fine. Uh, 
And then my next piece here is going to be much shorter. And it's really going to take some finagling here to get that to go in. If only I could actually rotate the processor head after it starts. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You know, with this being shorter, I can come up like so. Maybe that's the ticket. Maybe I have to uh, cut them short enough that I can just be inside the trailer a little bit when I dump it. Well, let's, let's give it another try here. I'm not ready to give up on that yet. I can like drive into the trailer kind of and then back out just to get it to straighten up so if I oh yeah I don't think that'll work too well let's see again here though let's throw down a strap before I send these lugs flying can I no that doesn't work see that's the problem I'd love to just do it into the trailer, but I mean, I guess I can kind of. I'm catching a stump now, I think. The fact that you can't really move the tree anywhere. I don't know. If you know any tricks for how to do it this way, let me know, because I, I really would rather do it like that. It just doesn't work for me that well. Like, I've never been able to get it lined up well enough to just go right in. Um, maybe if I cut them down and then I could drag them straight over to this, or you know, made a little shoot, I suppose, but then I'm just adding an extra step and getting rid of the efficiency boost, I suppose, that I'm getting off of doing it this way. Ooh, we might have it lined up this time. I don't think I'm going to keep doing it like this, though, because this is a lot more hassle, I feel like, than just cutting the tree. That's going to be tough to recover to. And... Completely wrong direction there. Alright. We're not going to do it that way. I am going to grab the excavator and fix those two real fast. I think I'm going to have to switch to the smaller claw. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to have to switch to the smaller claw. This also means, you know what, I probably won't even bother using the trailer because I can just use the front loader and take them right over to the point. I don't need to use the front loader to load the trailer to take them to the point. That's an extra step that I won't need to worry about. Really, the trailer's going to be more for if I want to take them to sell. I did put in a sell-everything point over by the train yard. 
because there was nothing on this map to sell the platinum productions at. Everything flying. It's on the trail. It's all that matters. I've used one of these. Wow. I am rusty. All right. Well, I guess I will get to harvesting. I should take a look real quick at that worker being out. Wow. All right. I'm going to end up having to grab more lime for that worker, so we're not going to worry about it right now because that can always get done on the next day in game here. Uh, those stumps are going to get pretty annoying, but that's all right. You know what? I should probably cut them smaller now, too, because if I'm going to be going... If I'm going to be using the front loader, haul them over. Uh, I'm going to go nine meters. So, yeah, if you know how to get those how to mill or harvest the trees, whatever it's called, directly into the trailer, let me know, because I've never had any luck with that, as you saw, and I am curious about doing it in here. And I know, I know FS22 is now kind of, you know, limited as to how much longer it's going to be going for, but even still, that's something that I've never mastered in here, and I would kind of like to. But let's get some logs made up here. I am starting to get some more comments too about people that are excited about FS25. I mean, I, like I said in my videos, I'm. I'm cautiously optimistic, cautiously hopeful, however you want to really look at it. Um, I really hope that FS25 is going to come out and be amazing and ground deformation is going to be what we're seeing in, like, you know, a lot of the other games where you can get stuck in mud and have tire tracks and everything else. Um, I was looking again, too. I, it's gotten terrible reviews, but there's the... Uh, Lumberjack simulator that came out a while back. That was maybe like 2022, 2020, something like that. Um, and it shows it having mud and tire tracks and everything like that too. So, I mean, that's... It's not a new concept. I mean, when I looked into that also, after a comment that I got about it, Cattle and Crops had it, and Cattle and Crops was released... Uh, in like 17, 17, 18, I think 17 was a, a beta test or something. And they had farming and true ground deformation and almost everything that people are looking for in FS22. They just supposedly did not get enough money to keep developing. It was also a really small studio. It only had like, I, I think somewhere between like two to five people working on the game completely. And they haven't made anything since then either. 
that game's lost complete support now. I think they even were uh, shutting the forums down here at the end of last month, so... I mean, you can still buy it, though. I, I don't know why. I feel like Steam should, uh, should say no to that if they're not willing to even give forums or essentially any sort of customer service support to the game. I'm not sure if they should still be selling the game. I suppose somebody could just make, like, a fan site type of thing for it, but... I think that's the sort of spot where Steam should step in and say, you know what, that's fine, you can't sell your game through our platform anymore if you aren't willing to support your game. And I know, I know, there's there's a lot of arguments going right now about preserving games and things like that. I'm not saying that the game shouldn't be preserved, but I think with it being on Steam, it gives people kind of a false sense that you can get help for the game, and the game is active, and it's not. Oh, well, you know, maybe I should turn on Boogie Lift for all these stumps. That would help. I should pick up a container, too, to see if our uh, wood storage will take the containers, or our sawmill will. I think both of them are supposed to. Because I might end up doing that. I'm not sure if, uh... If that's affected the same way actual trees are to game performance, because... After I did all that, that testing on logs, I did figure out that the trees themselves being cut down into logs is what really can cause issues, because it seems like the tree standing there is essentially just a graphic, but as soon as you cut it into a log, then there's data being used for how much is in the log, or cut down the tree, maybe I should say, it's not even a matter of cutting them into the logs here like this, but just the fact that the tree is downed. I'm also trying to figure out what I should do for, one, the next series here, because I do think I'll be doing at least one more series before we're off to FS25. And I am thinking about doing a logging series. I'm thinking about doing, like, a logging roleplay on Silver Run. Not, not a super intense roleplay like I was trying to do on Hinterland, because that... It, it didn't really seem to interest people all that much. But, you know, kind of more like uh, Driver 53 or Mr. Sealy P do, where it's a role play, but there's still some breaks in, in character type of thing. Um, something where it's just a little bit easier. Not quite so intense on either editing or staying in character type of thing in the game, whatever you want to look at it as. So I'm thinking about that, or doing another farming roleplay. There was just a really cool looking map that came out for console. Well, really cool for console, I should say. Really cool looking map overall, but the fact that for console you've really kind of got to watch and have squared off maps so that it'll work well with workers, and it did. Uh, I can't remember the exact name of the map. It's a Canadian map, though, that just recently came out. So I kind of would like to do a game there, too. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you'd prefer seeing. If we do a, uh, a logging roleplay or a farming one on one of the new maps. Logging roleplay would be on Silver Run for sure. Um, mainly because you've got the other trees which are more profitable and you've got all of the factories already on the map and stuff like that, so... I mean, it does make things a little bit easier. It doesn't help that I'm trying to look through the help menu there. I am planning on trying out 
American Truck Simulator also. Um, I've got a gaming wheel that I've never really used. I bought it a little while ago. Um, well, a little while ago, months and months ago, really. And I haven't had a decent stand for it. So I finally made... I'm gonna flip. I'm gonna flip. Don't wanna flip. Don't wanna flip. Don't wanna flip. Come on. Okay, we flipped. Can I roll myself back up? There we go. There we go. Oh, I left my license plate on on this one. I did not mean to. Alright, there. Move that over like there. There we go. It was not going to be in line with the other pile. Uh, so yeah, gaming wheel. Now that I'm not on the wrong side of the machine. So... I broke down and I built a stand because I'm super cheap and didn't want to bother buying one. And unfortunately, it didn't quite work out. <laughs> um, I have some decent woodworking skills, I swear. And I did it all out of wood. But it, um, it couldn't quite handle the weight of the wheel with the way I built it. Um, I had spent a ton of time researching exactly how I wanted to build it. And, um... By the time I went around to actually building it, I kind of forgot about everything that I looked into and decided on. And uh, when I built it, it was nothing like what I actually intended to build. So, uh, yeah, it, it did not work very well. So I ordered a stand, and it should be showing up tomorrow, actually. Well, maybe today by the time you see this video. I think I'm going to be putting this out on Wednesday. And it's supposed to be showing up on Wednesday for me. So I will finally have a wheel, which I really bought more for FS22, but I've always been curious with American Truck Simulator, and it is on the Steam Summer Sale right now. So I think I'm going to try the demo out for it because, like I said, I'm rather cheap, and even though it's on sale very, very cheap, I'd still like to try the demo first. So I'm probably going to try out the demo, and then, to be quite honest, I'll probably buy it because even if it's something that I just kind of eh, yeah sure it might be fun to fool around in once in a while it's on sale for I think like two bucks um so it's not an Xbox game it's PC but you know it's a good game and I kind of see some interesting opportunities with maybe combining a couple games for a video doing, you know, FS22 or 25 maybe by that point, and uh, American Truck Simulator and maybe some other stuff so that, you know, we can grow our crops, harvest them, and then drive them through another state or something. Or uh, order a piece of equipment from another state and have to drive across state and then be able to deliver it to the farm just kind of, you know, a little bit different roleplay aspect. It, it won't be perfectly immersive because, you know, the different games have different graphics and are going to look different. So it's not like it's going to look like I truly am driving the exact same equipment all over type of thing. Yeah, that's not going to line up with that pile. But I don't know. I think that one would be interesting. I think it'd be kind of fun for me to do, too, to, to make into a video, just being able to, you know, do one game, then go hop over to the other game, and come back and do something else, and something to have a little bit more fun with, something a little bit different than just Farming Simulator, especially because Farming Simulator is lacking in some of those areas. You know, I think it'd be really, really cool if we could in FS25 especially just because it's the new one coming out, but it'd be really cool to be able to grow your crops, hop on the train, and maybe actually have to transport them to another state from the train, you know? Drive it through a whole state. Make sure you're stopping at the crossings and stuff, or be able to just, you know, hire the worker to take it across. 
but be able to do it yourself or being able to uh, drive to another state, another map, something to buy equipment cheaper and have to haul it all the way back or to be able to get the equipment, you know? I mean, maybe the John Dealer... Maybe the John Deere dealership is in another state. Maybe you don't happen to have one or another city. And you've got to drive a few miles to go pick up your new harvester that you want or something. It would just be another element. Another fun element to add in. So yeah, we'll, we'll, I'll be trying out Truck Simulator. And I do plan on putting up a video of that too. Um, I'm probably going to do both the demo and as long as I buy the game, the real game. I mean, if I play it and I think, wow, this is miserable for whatever reason, it's boring me to death something, then I'm not going to buy it. But as long as it's not something like that, with it being two bucks, I can't see any reason not to really, unless I don't like it at all. But... I'll probably get it, and we'll see. I'll probably get a few other pieces for it since everything for it's on sale. But in order to buy, like, all of the DLC for it, it's still, I think, close to 200 bucks. And I was looking at it even with um, taking out all of, like, the paint packs and things, the aesthetics, and it was still, like, 80 to 100 or something. So I'm, I'm too cheap for that. And I'm... Really, I haven't actually made anything off of... YouTube yet at all. I do have ads turned on. I'm sure you've probably seen them either on this video or on some of the other ones. Um, we may not be... Oh yeah, we're long enough into a video here for there to have been ads already. And yeah, that's kind of cool. Like, I should be able to make some money off of there, but you know, you need to hit a hundred bucks to make a payout, and quite honestly, so far I'm at like, I think 20 or something that I've made entirely. So, it's not like I'm raking in money to spend on games and things like that. That's a good amount of logs, and this video has already gone on for a little while. So, let's... Number one, I suppose, let's take this over and throw these logs in. Then I'll grab the Volvo wheel loader there, and we'll bring the rest over. Now I'm going to need to move my, uh, my Winter Wolf there, because I don't really feel like skidding all of these. The plan for being able to, uh, skid and winch them over. We're gonna turn off that torch. That torch is really loud. There we go. Um, the plan for being able to skid them all over is I can take the... the skid steer, whack everything down real fast, and then skid them. And just bring them whole. But the last time I tried, I did get a little bit, um... A little bit buggered up. Um, we'll make it work. I'll probably throw up some concrete barriers or something coming out this way at an angle to just help funnel everything in. I think that's actually going to be the absolute best idea. That should work pretty well. Um, and once I do that, I can come over and grab them all, no problem. Uh... You know what? I think I want that right there. Not the whole thing. I just want to take that off. I'm going to have to back up a little bit. Strap that back down before I do. It's not compatible with the... Oh, I must have gotten that as a front loader. 
All right, you know what? Let's do this because I am probably going to need uh, to reconfigure stuff over here anyways if I don't stop talking in the middle of my thought. So we're going to throw a toolbox down. Uh, I guess we'll put it like right there. It's always going to return over here, at least. Really, I should just buy another big bag handler here, because... I mean, I use them a ton. Wheel loader. And... Uh, screw it, let's go four meter. Now I can put that on. And this is a nice heavy wheel loader, so we really shouldn't have any sort of issue picking up logs. Sloppy as could be, but it'll work. We'll get over there. So yeah, I going back to my thoughts from before. I'm trying to figure out exactly what I want to do for the next series. The other thing I'm trying to figure out is I didn't do anything for anything special for a thousand subscribers, and I didn't really do anything special for like 500 subscribers back when I got that. Other than saying yay thanks everybody for subscribing and by the way if you have subscribed thank you very much i really do appreciate it if you haven't subscribed please subscribe it really helps me out helps out the channel uh gets me to keep doing stuff like this so if you have watched to this point you are probably enjoying so please hit that subscribe button down below Ooh, that is not what i want to do uh come on come on come on i want to push that log i guess we'll just have to do this here we go um, so, I want to do something at least kind of special when we get to 1,500 subscribers. Because that's where I can apply for partnered status with Giants. And I would like to do that because then I can get at least some more access to stuff a little bit earlier to be able to help show you better. And I'll get the uh, purchase codes and stuff that I can hand out. That way, if you want to buy things using my code to help me out, it would help me out. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos, and I want to be able to keep doing them. I really do. It, it's getting to the point where if I don't start making all of this a little bit more profitable, I'm going to have to just go back to work and kind of probably stop doing videos. And I don't want to do that. I mean, I'd maybe be able to still have time to do some. It It's not that I would have zero time whatsoever, but... You know, I, I I tend to work way more into things than I should, way more into places than I should. Um, it's it's not odd for me to work 60-hour work weeks and things like that, and it limits drastically the amount of time I have for other things. Um, I'm, I'm a workaholic, and so is my wife, so that's where you don't really see me put videos out on weekends and things because... Weekends is just kind of family time for us because she works so much during the week and I always used to and I used to work a lot of weekends too. I've always worked retail and uh, I've done a lot. I mean at one point and this is you know I'm not complaining if I go back to work I go back to work it it doesn't matter to me I have always enjoyed working. It's been nice being off and being able to do videos and get stuff done around the house and spend more time with my wife and stuff than I used to, but trust me, this is not at all me trying to complain. Um, just kind of trying to explain and have something to talk about, I suppose. But uh, 
at one point when I was younger, just before I actually proposed to my wife, I was working uh, two jobs in order to make sure I had enough money to buy the ring and everything. And I was actually working two full-time jobs. Uh, one during the day and then one overnight. And it, things kept getting nuts for me. I mean, I think my record was like... I think I worked 72 hours and only had, I think, like two hours of sleep through the whole ordeal. Something like that. And that... I mean, that's just kind of who I am, how I've always been with stuff, you know, I, I'll throw myself completely into work just because that's, I guess, more or less how I was raised, what I know, the way I've always been. I've never been good with maintaining a work-life balance. I've just always said, yep, give me more, give me more. Um, during that time, actually, when I did the 72-hour thing, like I said, I was working two full-time jobs. I was actually getting overtime at both jobs. So I was working... It was like 90 to 100 hours a week for about a month, probably. Because neither of the jobs really wanted you working overtime, so you really only got it during, like, you know, crazy busy periods. So this was, like, Black Friday, I think, that... You know, the week couple weeks around Black Friday, a couple weeks around Christmas type of thing, that I, uh, it was just kind of, okay, here, we need people to work, we'll give you overtime, you can have overtime, and instead of me, you know, being intelligent, saying, no, you know what, I'm, I'm working two jobs, I don't need the overtime, like, you know, find somebody else to do it, I just said, okay, sure, I'll take the money, I'll do it. But, you know, I was young and dumb and figured, ooh, that's awesome. I can get a ton of money over the course of a couple weeks. And I did. I, I made a good amount working two jobs with overtime. And, and, you know, it didn't kill me or anything. I'm still here. I got nothing wrong. Nothing bad happened. It wasn't like I uh, hurt myself or anything even. It was just a lot of a lot of work and a lot of exhaustion and I think after that uh, Christmas season I slept for probably about a week and that was crazy too because I was doing all that stuff for my wife and then well you know we were dating at the time and then we would uh, go out when I wasn't working and stuff so I'd be uh, going to a movie with her and then falling asleep during the movie because I had only had like four hours of sleep or something. It was fun. It was a fun time. It really was. And uh, it's not, not to say that, you know, I couldn't probably work full time and do videos, but I mean, to be honest, uh, I'm too old for that shit. Um... It would drive my wife nuts if I'm saying, Honey, sorry, I can't sit down and watch TV with you because I need to make a video. Like, she'd probably be okay with it and understand, but... You know, it'd be one of those, well, why is that more important than me type of things, which it honestly isn't. If I'm looking at the difference between having a little bit of fun making some videos because I enjoy it, and, uh getting to spend time with my wife, which I enjoy, I'm probably going to spend the time with my wife, if it's a choice between the two. Come on, can't I pick up that last one? There we go. Alright, I'm not going to try pick up another set, we're just going to take this little set over. So, yeah. Um, 1,500 subscribers, that's what we were originally talking about. So, if you have anything you'd like to see, if you have any thoughts, let me know. Um, so far, I'm kind of thinking maybe about doing a very big live stream. Um, I've only done a few live streams, and they've never really been very popular. I've gotten some viewership after they've been done, when people have gone back and watched the, uh, the recording of it, but... I mean, I want to say I've only had, like maybe 10 people join in while it was live. 
but I also didn't have a thousand subscribers at that point or 1500 as the case might be so I'm thinking about that um, I know I have been asked about a discord channel and I do plan on doing a discord channel at some point maybe that'll be the 1500 mark uh, let me know what you think or I could do some sort of special episode or um, as strange as it would be maybe I do something on a different game um, I mean, you're, you're subscribing here mainly because of the Farming Simulator content. That's almost the only thing I have on my channel anymore is Farming Simulator. Except for, like I said, I am going to do some ATS stuff because, well, I'm getting the wheel stand and it's going to be on sale and I've always been interested in that game. So, I'll be doing some of that here and there and maybe some other stuff adding in too. Especially since I'm not super, super excited about FS25 so far. I really want to see what comes out from Farmcom. That should all be out at least by, like, next week, right? I want to say that's, like, July 6th. Oh, come on. So, if there's something you'd like to see, let me know. Um, I, I still, I don't know what I really want to do yet for that. Ooh, that was a bad drop. That was a real bad drop. I am also planning on putting out memberships sometime soon. Um, I don't really know what I want yet for memberships. I've, I've been toying around with them, honestly, for a very long time. I've made and deleted a handful of different memberships, and I've never actually offered any up yet. If that's something that interests you and there's something specific that you're looking for out of them, let me know. Um, th this is different from, like, the 1,500 subscriber thing. I wouldn't be launching memberships as a thank you for getting 1,500 subscribers. To me, that just seems wrong. Um, I, I want to do something for the little community that we're making here when it comes to a thank you for subscribing. Um, I I'm not going to try and sell you something because you subscribe to me. I do have merch down below, too, if you haven't noticed that yet. Um, I don't think I've sold anything yet. It, it's some fun stuff. So, if you didn't know, and if you haven't taken a look at that, maybe take a look at it. But, yeah. I mean... Ooh, that's going crazy. Okay, let's stop, let's stop. Let's set that down for a second. Alright. It, it would probably be weird for me to, like, play a f FPS game or something, though, for 1500 I mean, if a ton of people said they wanted that, I would. I don't think there's much gaming-wise that I haven't played at some point in the past. It's one of the things I've thought about doing, too, at some point, is I've thought about doing kind of a, uh almost a retro series, I guess, kind of just doing something of these are the games that I grew up with type of thing. Maybe hooking up my uh, PlayStation and my video capture PlayStation 2, stuff like that, the older stuff. Some of the old PC games and things that I still have, if I can get them to run on my PC. Um, I don't know if there's still the... Uh, the version change sort of thing where you can run it to uh, comply with like Windows 98 and stuff. I think at one point Windows was talking about getting rid of that on Windows 10 because I'm still on 10 just because I don't really like 11 all that much. Come on, no, I want all of it. Give me all of it! Let's 
let's go out, down, and drag back in. And I almost got all of it. Just missing one. Come on. Yes! Victory! Alright, come on, come on, get over the stump. I know, I know, they're huge stumps. They left huge stumps. I should have cut them lower just to make it easier to get around, but this will make it much easier for me to find them and grind them down. Because, honestly, the last time when I was trying and they were so tiny, it was a real big pain in the butt. Actually, that would be really neat. I know it would not be realistic at all, but it would be really neat for one of the mod makers, since, you know, I am not skilled enough to make mods and things like that, and I definitely don't claim to be. I kind of would like to maybe do some script mods if I switch over to PC. Um, but that would be something to be really neat to make, is if your harvester, after it cut the log, could go down and grind out the stump. That'd be perfect. That would truly be perfect. Boom. All of that went in. Except for that one that's still sitting there. Uh, I need to set my planks to distribute. There. Put that in. And that was only about half, not even half. So yeah, we're going to be able to put a lot of wood in here. All right. Uh, wood chips, I think we will store. And the rest of that we're going to set to automatic selling. I think it's planks long that we need to sell. And let's see here. I don't need to worry at all about that. Oh no, that's planks long. And wool. We don't have any wool, but we can do... Dog houses and bird houses. And planks long for that, which is shingles. All right, so over here, my regular planks can sell. Planks long need to distribute. And everything is set to fast. Oh, it's not coming out looking like the, uh... That's too bad. I'll end up just having to take all this stuff and and throw it onto a trailer to sell it off. Uh, ooh, I don't know if I can get this machine under to grab those. Uh, we're gonna try. Because I want to grab the planks long, or the long planks, and take them over to the other factory so that they can start chugging away because they're gonna be going way slower. Let's see, you are prefab walls, your beams. Means your planks long, right? Planks long, yeah. Nope, you're not gonna fit, are you? Oh, 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 yes you are. There we go. sure all those planks are broken now that are, you know, big long planks and tiny little cardboard boxes, but who cares? They can use bro broken planks. That's the shingle place anyway. Why would you do the long planks for shingles? You think you'd want the regular wood planks for shingles. Anyway. Whatever. 3,000 liters of wood chips. So maybe that did just always have a pile and it wasn't 
somehow picking up wood chips. This trailer's got some wood chips in it. A lot of wood chips. <laughs> I do still need to maybe clear out this section here. Um, we'll probably just buzz them down and drive them over. You know, I think... I was planning on cutting this episode off already. I mean, we're already close to an hour here. I guess I'll knock those down really fast and drag them over. I do kind of like having the smaller decorative trees, but if this whole area turns into being one giant field... Oh, actually, this side won't, will it? Uh, this side will be a moderate size one. Alright, so maybe we'll just take a couple of these down, because I gotta get a little bit out of the way here. Um, just so that I can put up some... <clears throat> some concrete barriers or uh, guardrails or something to make it easier to drag stuff over to the lumber yard there. So we're going to clear out a little bit of space. Take down the spruce because that'll give us a good bit of wood. Come on. Okay, I know you can cut down full-size trees. There we go. And then I've got one more... ...over this way, out in the middle of the field here I want to take down. Just to make sure it's not in the way at all. There we go. Now, are any of these smaller ones easy enough for me to just pick up real quick? Ah, still over 200. All right. So let's grab the timber wolf here real fast. And we will drag the, you know. Maybe I should just, ooh, you know what? I should get the plow for the timber wolf. Or not Timber Wolf, it's Snow Wolf, whatever it is. I should I should get the snow plow for the front of it because then I can just push. I mean, I'm kinda pushing anyway. Let's just take this right up about there. This might not work. Might not. Oh, did I just, nope, there we go. Okay. Now I should be able to winch it in. And since it's so close, I'll grab this tree too while I'm passing it by. And winch it in. And hopefully I will get these two into the zone. Come on. That's a big problem. Neither of them are close enough. Okay. Well. I think I can get this to right again. There we go. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're, we're going to just grab the plow for the front loader and shove everything. Because I think with these trees, that is going to be a whole lot easier. And I know I've got... Oh, that's probably set up for... 
front load or not for whatchamacallit, isn't it? Because... No, you know what? I had to have that thing. Maybe I just had that set for a front loader. Because this, I don't think, comes in anything but... ...being a wheel loader setup. There we go. You even got the right tool. Cool. Alright, so let's get all this shoved into our saw point real quick. And then... That's probably it for this video. Um, I am going to eventually have to grab the logs that are over at... The other end. Uh, over by the train yard there. Ooh. Really bounced off that stump. Over by the train yard, I've still got a bunch of logs sitting there. They're all uh, eight meter logs. I checked. And I know now those really aren't the best to sell. I'm getting stuck on that little tree. Yeah, I'm hitting that little tree. I should probably get rid of that little tree. Um, yeah, I know the 8-meter logs aren't the best to sell anymore, so those will probably come over here. We'll see, though, because those are all so close to the sell points over there that I might load them up and sell them. The other thing is, too, if my wood chip price gets really good finally at some point here, I might just ship them all and just sell the wood chips because the that might actually be selling better once it goes up then selling it off as logs um so yeah decisions decisions but let me get this spruce out of here and we might winch it especially because i can lift this up and winch it high or choke it high. And drop it down so that I can grab it. I did buy it. I did install the winch mod that came out for the excavators too. And we'll see. I might end up using that some at some point. Especially because it is kind of handy to be able to lift up like this. I know that's not how that winch is made to be used. That's supposed to be smashed into the ground. But, I mean, we're in FS-22. None of it actually matters in here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to detach. Alright, let's just hop out. And screw it, we'll just sell it. Oh. Well, not actually sell it, but put it into our factory. Alright, so... That is all that cleared out of the way. I still have a ton of stumps. And... I guess I'll maybe start grinding them real quick. Just because I've got to grind them. Turn on mulcher. Well, that thing don't really matter, does it? And that will turn all the way open just to make sure here. All right. I don't normally use the forestry mulchers like this because they'll create fields. Ooh, that's actually not creating a field. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to have to use this one more often. I don't normally like them because they'll create the field, and I don't want them to create fields all over the place in tiny little spots for no reason. I wasn't going to worry about it over here simply because we're going to end up turning it all into a field anyways, but... This is awesome. This one doesn't make a field. I don't think I realized that. That's great. And it's still clearing out the stump just fine, too. That's awesome. So if you haven't seen these before, um, this is fantastic. I, I don't remember who this mod is made by. This one is a mod. Uh... If you're curious, let me know in a comment and I'll look it up for you. Uh, oh, that might be a problem. 
Oh no. I've got no way of lowering it anymore, do I? No, I don't. Oh, so maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe it uh, doesn't work on everything. And now that's going to be so small that I'm going to have a hard time finding it again. Oh, man. Oh, there we go. There's that one now. I just need to kind of get into an angle. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's from this ground not quite being flat. I mean, I can always bring the tree devour over if I have to, too. But... This is working, it seems like. It would be probably a little bit faster with the tree devour, because this is rather slow moving with... You know, I'm running at work speed and I can only go to four miles an hour, and if I'm just driving, it still maxes out at like seven, which is why I'm not going to use this for skidding any logs. It does have a working winch on the back of it, but seven miles an hour, I'm not going to be dragging them around. I could maybe use it to winch them over somewhere, but I get a lot more effectiveness out of the other stuff. That Snow Wolf, especially with having three total winches on it, I've got the two on the back and there's one on the front. And it'll hook up to, like, five trees, and they all do, like, I think, 15, uh, 15 tons on them. There's the stump. Back up, back up, back up. There we go. Um, so yeah, if, if you can, if you have any thoughts on anything I talked about in this one, drop me a comment down below. Down below. Otherwise... Thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't subscribed, if you watched this far, you should probably subscribe because, I mean, I don't think you'd watch this far if you weren't enjoying or listen this long because I know I'll throw on YouTube videos all the time just listen to the background. So, thank you very much. Have a great day. Happy gaming.